A sexist tradition is costing the first place Harvard men's soccer team its season. Harvard University canceled the remainder of the team's season, forfeiting the rest of its games after an investigation revealed the team had produced sexually explicit scouting reports about the women's soccer recruits. The Harvard Crimson Student Newspaper first reported the school's decision. The university's Office of General Counsel Review found that the team continued to produce vulgar and explicit documents rating women on their perceived sexual appeal and physical appearance. The Crimson reported that the 2012 men's soccer team created a scouting report rating female recruits numerically and assigning each a hypothetical sexual position. The nine-page scouting report included photos of the players, a numerical score for the woman's physical appearance, and comments such as, She seems relatively simple and probably inexperienced sexually, so I decided missionary would be her preferred position. University President Drew Faust said in a statement that she was deeply distressed to learn that the appalling actions of the 2012 men's soccer team were not isolated to one year or the actions of a few individuals. The six 2012 women recruits written about in the scouting report penned an op-ed letter expressing the hurt caused by members of the men's team who they consider to be close friends for the past four years. We are appalled that female athletes who are told to feel empowered and proud of their abilities are so regularly reduced to a physical appearance. We are distraught that mothers having daughters almost a half century after getting equal rights have to worry about men's entitlement to bodies that aren't theirs. Upon learning about the scouting report, the women expressed a common feeling among women in today's culture that sexism is normal. We brushed off the news as if it really didn't matter, as if we weren't surprised men had spoken of us inappropriately. The sad reality is that we have come to expect this kind of behavior from so many men. The women condone the team's actions and a notion that locker room talk is acceptable. Locker room talk is not an excuse because this is not limited to athletic teams, they write. The whole world is the locker room. But in the face of sexism, the women go high, offering forgiveness to the men of Harvard soccer and any future men who may lay claim to their bodies who choose to objectify them as sexual objects. They write together as one. I can offer you my forgiveness, which is and forever will be the only part of me that you can ever claim as yours. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.